Hello everyone, my name is Alex. This is an episode of a course, How to Learn Java Within 50 Days. Link to the full playlist is in the description below. In this episode specifically, we are going to talk about switches. What a switch is, is I would call it an easier way to do, to create big if statements, if you're new to this. Um, and when I say an easier way of making big if statements, I mean when you when, when you're typing, for example, if one equals one, and then you're doing an else if. So let's say this wasn't a variable instead, because one equals one sounds kind of dumb. <laughs> but let's say this was i, a variable called i. And we were checking if that was equal to one, and then you also want to check else if if i is equal to two, and you just want to do this for like ever and ever and ever. Um, else if i equals 3 and then suddenly we are cutting an end to it else of course so if it's not 1 2 or 3 it is else and then i is equal to I don't know what, what's gonna happen here is basically system out print line like breast apologize for saying that but it's kind of fun saying these things in in video <laughs> I don't say them usually but while recording, I think I, I thought I might as well just add some of these things in, because, I don't know. But anyway, so how do we do this switch? Um, and again, it, it takes up a lot less space than making big if statements, bloody big if statements, because they're kind of taking up space. That was kind of random, wasn't it? So let's say we had an integer here, and we wanted to check um, we wanted this program to type out um, let's make something really dumb now <laughs> how many dives you've done through history if you're a diver how many dive dives you've done I'm a diver I love di diving if you love diving too please type that in the comments below because that would be awesome if you love diving um, and normally we would have to do if dives equals one, which is not. Let's say I've done like 40 dives through, throughout my life, 41. Um, then system out print line. Um, you've done one dive throughout your life. And also, again, for those of you who don't, do not remember this, we can double-click this or any class up here to make it go in full-screen mode. Not really full-screen, but to make it fill the screen in the code area here. Um, and this is, of course, a very dumb way of doing it um, because, we, because we could just remove the whole if statement here, the whole checking part here, and add a plus, um, which allows you to add variables in your code, plus dives, plus more text. So we start off with a string here. This is a string. This will automatically go into a string variable um, because the print line statement allows you to print strings. And then we do plus. We add a part to that string, which is now 41, and then we add another part saying dive throughout your lives. Although it's going to be dives if it's 41 up there and we remove the if statement here. But if we want to be we want we want to be non lazy and we want to be like awesome <laughs> printing out this using our super skills, then we could have done it like else if and so on, etc. Um, but the easier way of doing this to make it take a, take up a bit less space is that we type in switch and then we type in the variable name that we want to check check a value for, uh, so to say. And then we have our curly bracket brackets here that we have in many many occasions. Um, now the switch inside the switch we can we can check different for different cases different things that ha that happens. And in case the variable dives which ha which we have typed in up here is equal to one, then we do colon and at the end of this case which is which works a bit like a, like an if statement we type a break to break this um, 
this little body containing this area containing code that we want to happen in case dives is equal to to one. So then we want we want to do system out print line um, only one only one dive. You are kind of cool. <laughs> that's that's sounds cool. So if you've done one dive, programming is gonna say you're kind of cool. Only one dive. You're, you're kind of cool. <laughs> um, probably look better if I just did your. But yeah. Um, so that's that. Now, if we want to add and and ask the program if it's true, just add another case, and Eclipse will automatically format this for you if you just carry on typing in it. Uh, system out print line. We pr want to print out a line saying you've dived. I'm not sure if that's diving. Uh, I'm not sure. Twice. You've made two dives through out your life. Probably a lot of typ typos in this. Um, I'm amazed. Yeah, I know, smiley. Um, now also, one more thing that we can do, because um, cause in the if statements, you know, we have the else, and you can also use else's in this. Right now we're checking if it's one or two, but what happens if it's neither one or two? Uh, if we don't want anything to happen, we can of course just don't just leave this as a as a working code. It's like if we had if the dives were to be one, the console yeah, save chicken like you just Java. Um, only one dive. You're kind of cool. If it were to be two, you know what would happen. But I might as well run it because I can. <laughs> um, so so we have that. But if it were to be like 45, and we want something to happen. Then what we do is that we type in here default. So if it's neither one or two now, two now, we it goes for the default, and it also has a break after it. And inside here we can type in what would happen as the else. So what would happen otherwise? And probably you're lame. So I've done 45 dives. You're lame. Oh, the program doesn't really like me. So that's how to use switches for Java. Hope you enjoyed this episode of of the how to do, how to survive, um, how to learn Java within four, 50 days. Uh, and in the next episode, I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna do, but I will probably soon find out. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and a comment below this video. Thanks for watching.